Now, this next experiment on seeds is what I would like you to carry out by yourself. You can see I have bean seeds here. You remember what kind of seed is a bean seed? Thai cotyledon. And then here I have the corn seed monocotyledon. So the next thing you will do is to plant the bean seed. Plant, guess, and then plant the bean seed. And of course, you know you are going to put water. And remember to water it so your plant can grow. And then you also plant the corn seed, the monocotyledon. You plant. Remember to cover it up and water it daily so it can grow properly. So after they've sprouted or after they started growing, after germination, they will start growing. I want you to carry out an observation. You look at the plant, the kind of plant that will come out or grow out of the dicotyledonous seed. Study the plant, look at the kind of root it has and look at the kind of leaves it has. Again, you do the same thing with the monocotyledonous um, seed. The plant that will grow out of the monocotyledonous seed, check that plant very well. Look at the kind of root that will grow out of this seed and the kind of plant. Look at the leaves, the kind of leaves that will grow out of this monocotyledonous seed. So that's an important research for you to carry out and let me know what you discover. Apart from looking at the kinds of roots and the kinds of leaves, you also wait for some time for them to produce flowers. And then you have to check out kinds of flowers that grow out of these different seeds. Count the floral parts and find out whether they grow up in multiples of three. Look at the ones that will grow up in multiples of four or five. So that is an important research for you to do and let us know your findings. So you can see we have a corn seed here and it's sprouted. And let's look at this other one here. And see the leaves we already, I mean the roots we've already Establish the fact that the roots always grow downwards, and that is sensible. Can you see the roots here? Because it's the work of the roots to go search for water underground. Now, here, look at this shoot. See Good. that this has the command to grow up. Can you see the shoot growing up? And eventually, the shoot becomes the the stem and um, the leaves and it's sensible that it's growing upwards that's the command it has because it is a work of the stem to hold up the leaves in order that it, it can face the sun which it needs so much to be able to do its function of preparing food plant food so we have seen here that shoots have a command to always grow up. I see the leaves. This is a leaf. So from this experiment, we have seen that the roots grow downwards while the shoots have a command to grow upwards. And that makes sense. 
because it is the work of the stem to hold up the leaves so they can face the sun in order to be able to carry out their work of food preparation for the plant. So I want you to carry out your, your own experiment just like we have here. Here we used the corn, the corn seed for this experiment. Look at the kind of roots coming out from the corn seed. See the root? Look at the kind of root coming out from the corn seed. So it, it's your own turn to do the same experiment with a corn seed and a bean seed and see the kind of roots that develop from these different seeds. You remember the corn seed, monocotyledonous seed, and then the bean seed is a dicotyledonous seed. So you carry out your own experiment and find out what kind of roots develop from these seeds. You should also check out for the kind of leaves that develop. The leaves are not quite out here. So you do your own experiment and study the kind of leaves that develop from these seeds as well. So let's know what your findings are. Now after you have carried out the experiment of planting the bean seed, which is the dicotyledonous seed and the corn seed, which is the monocotyledonous seed, you will need to study the plant, the bean plant and the corn plant. As I said, you look at the leaves of both plants, you look at the roots of both plants, you look at the flowers of both plants and carry out a classification, simple classification as we have laid out here for you. So that is another activity for you to do, very important. You do it and let us see your result.